o'clock this evening. Well, today, it's really just an incredible day. You have a chance to change a child's life. Think about that for a moment. Our Heroes for Kids telethon is now underway. News for Steve Harris live the telethon right now at Shriners Hospitals for Children. And uh, wait a minute. Are you are you a clown? I'm trying to look at our monitors. I'm here. smiling into this man. I hope you can see that. I like when I, it. I do this, I'm going to tell you. As you know, <laughs> you like it? I thought you might. It's mm -hmm. my color. Yeah. No, they uh, everything's different this year, right? So even the clowns, instead of wearing their ma their makeup, they've got these masks, right, to show that they're they're the Shriners clowns and doing a great job out here with their balloons. But what I've got for you right now is a story of a couple patients, Grace and Hasi. Now Grace is from Perryville, Hasi from Boston. They met at a Shriners golf tournament became fast friends. In fact, they wanted to do the interview together on a Zoom interview, so I want you to see their story. Check it out. It's like she finishes my sentences when we're having discussions about things, like whether that's school or whether that's Shriners. Like, you don't meet many people who you can talk to Shriners things about. Like, that's part of our lives, I guess you could say. Like, it's a normal thing in our lives. Like, some people have sports. And we have Shriners. I asked them what they wanted people to know about their experience at Shriners. The really good care that they do and the doctors are amazing. They listen to you. Like, they don't ask your parents what surgery you want next. <laughs> no. They ask you. They look at you and they go, hey, what are we doing next? And listen to what they said they liked best. I just want to say thank you to Shriners, like, for all, for all they've done for me. Yeah, that's what I would say, too. I would say thank you to Shriners, not just because they've you know, taking care of me and made me into the person I am today, but they've also given me Grace, who's not a friend for a year who I meet in school. She's a friend for a lifetime. Friend for life. So that was a great story. That's kind of what they're doing here today. You can be a part of that. That's how they do this with through donations. If you want to give, 314-692-6448, and you can call and donate. Help them do what they're doing. Help kids like Grace, like Hossie, some of the other kids you've been seeing here today. Claire, I am going to bring you back one of these. I think you would look good wearing this on the anchor desk. Don't you agree, Steve? I totally yeah. would rock that, I think, if everyone here I knew was it. okay I knew with it. <laughs> yes. Well, having so much fun out there. And and you think about their stories, Steve. We are. I mean think about the hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of other stories like that that have been formed because of the hospital. Just the unbelievable things that they do. I know, it's great. Yeah, it is. You're having fun out there too. Steve, thank you so much for all of that. You can donate to the cause right now and we also did want to mention that they help kids no matter their ability to pay they do not turn anyone away you see the number right there on your screen you can also find everything you need to know on the KMOV news app again the number 314-692-6448 and just think for a moment if 100 of you donated ten dollars in the next five minutes boom just like that snap of the fingers a thousand bucks. Let's keep adding to that. We'll take your donations for seven o'clock this evening. All right, William.